how would you describe the progress you've been able to make so far since joining Doncaster Rovers? Um, I think generally positive. I think the, the results have been mixed. So I think we've in the league we've won five, lost five, drawn one. So it's pretty much 50 50. Um, and yeah, like I've said, it's always, I'll always, and my team will always be judged on results. But if we put that aside and we look at performances, we look at physical output, which I feel as though improved, we've looked at playing a certain way with the ball and without the ball. I think there's real clarity now with the players. The messages have been really consistent. So it's just a case now of growing that. I feel as though the results probably mirror where we're at in terms of, yeah, we can win, but we can lose football games. I speak about consistency all the time and there's no given right to turn up at a an opponent and go and win that football game so we need to make sure we're just continually improving on things making sure we've got that drive and desire to be better tomorrow than we are today and then hopefully that gets more positive performances and results going forward From your kind of preparation perspective for this game does this mean you now kind of look at extra scenario so obviously what Crawley have done before with with what they had then but maybe look at what he's done at Swindon and what potentially he might do differently in, in the very short space of time he's got yeah for me it's identifying sort of their players and the strengths and weaknesses of their players they've had um, a number of managers um <laughs> This season, so they've they've probably had different sort of messages delivered to him in terms of the style that that current manager wanted to play at the time. So um, yeah, it's not always easy, but we'll identify sort of what we feel their players are individually, and what we feel as though they might do collectively, and prepare best we can.